welcome back. Time for Joy News Interactive. Aisha Ibrahim is here with me, looking lovely in purple. Thank you, Irva. And you too, looking very beautiful on a Friday. And thank God you didn't see Aisha Muhammad this time. <laughs> You know how to join the conversations on facebook.com slash join news on TV and on Twitter. It's a join news on TV. Now, President Ekufuado has suspended from office the Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports, Pius Enam Hajidi, as well as the Acting Director General of the National Sports Authority, Robert Safu Mensa. The move is in reaction to the visa scandal which has rocked the country in the wake of the Commonwealth Games currently underway in Australia. And it brings back the conversation of alleged corrupt deals at the Sports Ministry. And I ask, what, in your opinion, disposes of the Sports Ministry to such scandals? Um, I don't know if I can really put the blame on right at the doorstep of the sports ministry because corruption is a widespread canker in our country, right from our very homes to the high offices that we have here. So I wouldn't be surprised, or I am not surprised to have heard of this issue, but I'm very glad the president took a bold step to suspend the deputy minister. And then I only hope that he put together an independent team that will do an in-depth investigation into the case and then indeed prove to us whether there was some element of corruption or is just a mistaken something that happened at Australia. It is because of political pressure because before the party will come to power, they will promise their supporters that maybe it will come 2018 when we qualify to Russia, we will maybe smuggle maybe 40 of you to Russia and maybe when you qualify for the Commonwealth Games in Australia, we will do this for you. So sometimes the minister's hands are tied because of the campaign promises some politicians make to their supporters. And I think it's poor leadership because I would say that those people, those people are being appointed, they are not being scrutinized very well. You think relationships once then just appoint them over there. They don't go through proper vettings and then for them to know the qualities and leadership pros of the person, just appoint them over there. So when they go there to they find themselves over there, they do what they think is favors them and they leave the nation at large. All right, let's check out your messages also on Facebook. All right, Kwesi Boateng Ipa writes, it's good. They should step aside for investigations to take place. Since the Deputy Sports Minister was the chair of the committee, the bus, stop right, uh, yeah, the bus stops right at his doorstep. So let the investigations take place. And Bayer Jeremiah says, it's uh, just the undisciplined attitudes of people towards government institutions. The systems of who monitors who at what time in our various government institutions are ineffective. I don't even think there's a system that compels people to write reports on activities carried out to their superiors. And uh, Joey B says, I think the president took a really good decision. We need to get rid of corruption in our country, and I think the current government is doing a pretty good job on that. Hashtag achieving corruption free Ghana. And Suleimana Yahya comes to write, excellent move by the president. I hope it will deter other office holders who have the same mindset of enriching themselves with the taxpayers' money. Achu Tete Solomon comes to say, what is Isiama still doing there? He should also be fired. Those are some comments on Facebook. And also, we all reply our direct messages on social media. But what if a random person sends you a message to stay away from his or her lover and that you're being a threat to their relationship? So, this is one of such messages, and I quote, I'm coming to you respectively, my, uh, respectfully. My man keeps saving pictures of you, and he's putting them on as his phone screen, his laptop screen, and even talks about you to his friends. And I was wondering if you could block him on all your social media. I hope this ends the issue, because if I have to talk to you again about this, it will be a problem good day and that was the message what would you do if a random person sent you this message personally i think that the the lady the random girl going to the girl doesn't have a point because i am not the one insisting on your man putting me on his status or on his screen on everything or everything but the point is if she wants to keep her man i think she should go there trauma other than going about following ladies to stop them or block their her man from 
WhatsApping them or sending them messages or all that. Um, I'm going to ask who her boyfriend is. I'm going to ask her who she is and maybe get into a dialogue with the boyfriend. Why me? Why my picture? If he doesn't have anything to say, I'm, uh, I'll block him. I should think it's a problem with his boy, her boy, sorry. So we should go and talk to him and try to find out why he's doing this. Maybe there's a quarrel or something and he's trying to get her attention to it. That's why he's doing this. So she should talk to her boy and find out why he's doing that. So I'll talk to her and, tell, and, and ask her if she has talked to her boyfriend about it because she has to talk to her boyfriend about this first. And if she hasn't talked to her boyfriend, I will contact the boy and ask him why he has been saving my pictures and using it. And if he doesn't get any reasonable information or something to tell me, I'll just block him as a girl and see because I have nothing to do with him. And that will end the situation. Okay, so uh, about the same question goes to you. What would you do? What would I do? I mean, it's very simple. Just block him and not... Uh, Get into contact with him, I suppose. Help. How about you? Let me do that. Yeah, question. sure. Because if, like the third uh, speaker said, if I don't have anything to do with him and I'm getting all these warnings, I, I may not even know that he's using my pictures on his screen and what, what, what. So, yeah, I'll block him to yeah. save myself from all this. Exactly. So, Papa Bekat, when she says, it will depend on the kind of, pers the kind of person uh, he may be dealing with. If it's an Ever, then I will send goats and schnapps to pacify him. Sharp. Hey, Papa Becca. <laughs> Chrissy Adriama says, a strong warning, or just obey and be free. And King Siasia Felix Kapuzi says, this is a wicked warning. Hey, lady, the lady should humbly block the man, Joe. And uh, Toko Chair Jacob says, call and sort the issues out because she's being polite. And a uh, prayer says, I won't have that time for you. And quote Simo Rain says, this one, there's just one mere remedy to it. Confront the sender and the man and sort this out harmoniously without any squabbles. But if you are a fiero, <laughs> just simply block the man and have your heavenly peace. <laughs> Adam's handmaid Wumpini says she should start sorting things out with her man and all other women to have their peace. Every respected woman fights her men for cheating on them. They don't fight the ladies with whom their men are cheating. And the opposite too is true. By Jeremiah says I will just block both of them right away after reading the message and Wamadi Mark Paradise says, unless you are not innocent, this is not a big deal. Just want the guy to stop using your pics to collect funds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> says, but yourself in the shoes of the disgruntled woman and you will understand her well. Okay, put yourself. She was even charitable with the warning. If a person like Moesha Budong <laughs> is around your husband, she doesn't need such warning. <laughs> she will need a beneath the car. <laughs> Al Hassan says, I will tell him if he is a man, he should go to Moesha. <laughs> and Baba says, Don't have to throw caution over to the wind. Quickly, you break up if there is any dating. If there isn't any and you don't even know her man, you let her know and demand his line to caution him as well. One must leave before he or she leaves. No time for such traumas. And while I knew Akwetia says, I will reject it. I don't want any problem. Yeah. And Hadora Mystical Brima comes to say, hey, now running I will do. I should wait and sign a death warrant. No. <laughs> and I agree with you. I'll just do it straight away. And finally, finally, the long wait is over. The Vodafone Ghana Music Awards is here and there has been controversies as to who wins the crown. Well, many are looking forward to seeing their favorite artists win the best artist of the year and the best new artist of the year. So tell me, who's your surest bet for those two categories? Best artist of the year and best new artist for the year. <laughs> My surest bet for VGMA Artist of the Year would go for Ebony. Reasons being that um, Ebony, should I say, was a legend in the making, and if time had permitted, she would have made Ghana proud. Oh, Joe Metal. Joe Metal, because most of the time it's his songs that I usually listen to or watch, and his songs are actually inspiring, they're motivating. But the other ones, I don't actually watch them, so I don't know much about it. I'll go for Shatawali. Yeah, strong Shatter fan. Yeah. 
Oh, because looking at Shatawale in the year review, he did a lot. Though he didn't go international most of him, but locally he did, yeah. Stone Boy. Stone Boy. Stone Boy has really done amazing the previous years till now. And the branding, like everything, Stone Boy is... I'm just praying that he wins because he deserves it. For me, this guy, I'll go for Kwam Eugene. His Angela track is... You do all. You do all. For... Uh, Come here, Eugene. He's my boy, he's my era boy, so he well in Father Mine, so I know how he is and I'll go for him. Go for um Kiddy or Kim Promise. They are my they are actually my favorite because uh, they actually produce these love tracks. So. So it looks like uh, the new artist of the year, a lot more people are vetting for Kwame using. But we've had Ebony, we've had Shatawale and Joe mm -hmm. Metal for the artist of the year. Let's check out what you also think on Facebook. Okay, by Jeremiah says, uh, artist of the year, Miss V, and new Vodafone artist of the year, Ebony Reigns. So those are your picks. Uh, Chrissy Boating Aipa says Shatawale will win, but I have my personal observations about Shatawale. He seems to be fighting everybody in Ghana except himself. <laughs> <laughs> and Koti Moraine says, I suggest Artist of the Year should go to Ebony Reigns because she really fought for it. A single lady without any collaboration with this high uh, musicians uh, in Ghana, but excuse to say underground artist. But after all, all her music, uh, her, her songs were hits. And uh, Kim Promise should also be appointed as anointed as the new artist of the year his chorus lyrics and voice kills me uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which, uh, okay he says what hashtag mene medofo ashe dem demo ama selfish oh that's part of the selfish song like okay yeah. <laughs> but you can says it's ebony but since she's no more i think sako there or stone boy deserves it hashtag obk Okay, very interesting comments. Adam Yusuf says, Bim. Bim means a uh, stone boy, right? Stone boy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Ayarika just a Fayinga says, nothing else will be named sticker all the way. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Change respect says, stone god all the way. Okay, so he's no longer a boy, he's a god. Sebastian Abasana says, stone boy for artist of the year and Kim Promise for new artist of the year. Maestro Raphael says, please, Joy FM, you are owing me pizza, so later. <laughs> How did that happen? Did we promise him pizza? I, I don't think and so. And then Stolbe says, I think everybody will carry the night. Kwame says, Stone Boy. Wamade Makwada says, I tipped Stone Boy to win. Nana Reko Brobe says, BIM to the, the world. world. So, BIM. A lot of people there, you know, their picks are Stone Boy. So we'll right. see tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. We wish all of them the best. <laughs> That's how we end the Jurassic <laughs> segment. My name is Aisha Brian. It's a Friday. Chill, but don't freeze. <laughs>